What's going on everyone? Welcome to Moonbill Garage. So how frustrating is it to be working on a project and you just can't find the parts that you want or the parts that you need? Either they're just not available, nobody makes them, they're stupid expensive, no matter what it might be, try, sometimes trying to find the parts for these old cars can just be really difficult and really frustrating. <sighs> Let's make a headliner. All right, so I picked up this headliner trim kit from Jegs. Um, I'll leave a link to it down below. And I think it's actually for like a C10, uh, but I think I can make this work for the Dodge. Um, so it's a four piece trim kit. And all I did was I taped it up on the ceiling just to kind of get the general shape and size that I, I need for the truck. So there's some areas here where it, where it overlaps right there. So I've marked uh, the parts I need to cut off. Now this is just, it's kind of cheesy. It's uh, just plastic. So should, uh, you know, it'll cut real simple. I'm actually going to probably paint it. I don't want to leave it this chrome color that it is. But, uh, but now that I got, I taped up the four joints to help hold its shape, got it out of the truck, and now I'm just going to trim it down to size and then go on to the next step. Now that I got the final size all worked out. I only had to make two cuts. I only had to cut a piece off from this side and a piece off from that side over there. I was able to use the the designed width of it, the length I had to cut down a little bit. So I cut those pieces off and then taped the joints up, put it back in the truck, double check the fit and everything is good to go. So now I'm going to work on, well I have to go around and cut these little, there are little clips right here all the way around that for whatever truck this was designed for, I'm sure those would clip into places in the ceiling and would help hold this in place. Uh, that is not going to work for the Dodge. I don't have any way to clip this in place. So I'm going to go through, go around and cut those off. But first, I'm going to use those to help create, help use as a template to create the layout for the headboard material. Normally, the headboard would be made out of like some sort of press board and then it could be covered or not, I guess. I don't really know. I've been trying to figure that out. Um, but I decided to use something a little bit different. So what I'm gonna be using is some of this 3 16 thick white foam board. Now this is gonna be getting covered. And I picked this up at my local like art supply place. I think it was like 14 bucks, 15 bucks for this size. So there you can see I've got the frame laid out. I'm going to flip it over. I'm going to use those clips to dent the foam board and that'll help give me a general shape. And then I'm, of course, I'll be careful to lay it out and then cut it out and use this as the underlayment. And then this will be getting covered in material. So let's get that uh, laid out and see how it works. Now that I got the, the final shape all worked out, got everything trimmed to fit and everything's looking really good. I can now work on the covering. What I'm gonna be using is some of that. Now this is the same vinyl material that I used on like my lower door panels, my kick panels. And it's just some vinyl material that looks like leather. So that's what I'm gonna be doing next.
there you go guys there is the finished headliner now i am really happy with the way the inset turned out that foam that 3 16 foam with the vinyl on it it's really lightweight i think it's going to be really stable i don't think it's gonna i'm gonna have to worry about it warping at all i think the the trim piece is going to give it plenty of support now about that trim piece i am not happy with that uh, with it being plastic it distorts real easy so you have to be really careful when driving in the screws but you can see just how much distortion there is in that trim piece again with it being plastic there just isn't really a whole lot that can be done about it i mean it's not horrible but i'm not really thrilled with that i think maybe i'll try taking it out and give it a coat of paint and hopefully that'll help but yeah i'm not i'm not sold on that trim piece well there you go guys just a real quick simple project uh, like i said i'm not sold on that trim piece um i may try taking it out and give it a coat of maybe some flat black that might help hide some of the distortion in it again i i don't know i'm not really sold on that another thought would be maybe make the the inset piece a little bit bigger because with the vinyl wrapped around the edges or around the you know around to the back that might be able to stand on its own just you know do enough screws around the perimeter and that might because some of those headliners you see they don't really have an edge they're just kind of screwed up there i don't know just some thoughts i'll play with it see see what happens i may end up ditching that trim ring altogether but like i said the centerpiece i'm more than happy with I appreciate you guys for watching. Hit that subscribe, hit the bell, and I'll see you on the next one.